Hi, welcome. This is a project about Arch Linux B. The B stands for Build It Yourself. Don't download it, but build the ISO with scripts. So you get something, you git clone something from the net, and then you build it. You build whatever you want in the sense that we can have an Arch Linux ISO, Arch Linux D ISO, but I've just created now two more Arch Linux B ISO minimals, so we are now complete. The only thing missing is a article on and a video, of course. So the GNOME minimal is new and the Budgie minimal is new. These two are new, meaning if you count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we're um, complete. 11 desktops up here, the full ISO, and this one is a minimal ISO. This is going to be about GNOME, GNOME minimal, all right? So I still have to make a beautiful image here. This is cinnamon. So a nice image to replace this one and a video that I'm creating right now to replace this one. And that's basically what it is. It's just a um, copy paste from the net, which is quite easy as you see, control C. Let's get rid of this, right mouse click, open a new window, do it on your desktop. You can delete it afterwards if you have the ISO. And then you open a terminal here. Control shift v you git clone copy paste something from the net all the knowledge is in this little folder and all you need to know is actually run the installation script so installation script here run this number 30 that's all you need to know if you want to move the iso to your documents you can do so but this is just maintenance for us so number 30 is the one that's important if you say after um, some tests and trials to say, I want, don't want to have this application, do want to have that application. It's all in here. So if you do plain text and go to Perl, you see the things that will be installed. These white things will be installed on your ISO. The rest will not, right? So if you see something in here and you say, oh no, I want to have my Chromium. The only thing you need to do is delete the hashtag, save it and run the script 30 and Chromium will be on your ISO. It's as simple as that anybody could do it. I'm leaving everything as is, since it's my selection and uh, you can change it to have your selection. That's the point of build your own ISO, give you the power to put uh, anything you want on that uh, ISO there. Just edit these package files. So number 30, right mouse click, open terminal, move it over here and start running number 30. The other day there was a question, hey, can we run this on Ubuntu? This build your ISO? Yes, of course not, because we're working on Arch Linux. Arch Linux is 95% Arch Linux and 5% our scripting and building and theming and all that. But um, basically you do need to be on an Arch Linux uh, distro. And then you can just run all these scripts. They are, have gone in, into the detail of the scripts in other videos but basically i'm going to check if software is installed and if it's not installed i'm going to install it and so on so yes you need to be on arch linux or arch linux to be able to install it it's going to take the time it takes i mean if you have an older computer it's going to take longer if you're bad internet connection is going to take longer but just let it be and the end result will be an iso let's pause the video here so there we are we end with a version 1.8 so it's uh, still a little big because of uh, the gnome desktop um, gnome desktop is a rather complete desktop and um, where is it well it's on your out at b gnome minimal there it is so let's have a look so if you go to eric up here control uh, H, no, control like this. Con Alcalix B out. That's the one you have to look out for. And we've built a cinnamon, and that one can go. And this is the GNOME minimal that we've just created, and um, it's ready to be tested out in VirtualBox. And eventually, when everything works fine and everything is okay, uh, then you can install it on SSD or hard disk. All right, enjoy.